Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back over to the house tonight. That's what we call our channel. We just call it the house, okay? We just over here kiki and ha-ha and then laughing our asses off and talking about celebrities, their comings and goings, okay? Because we're family like that. Yes, we're family. But we also don't uh, don't quote us on anything over here either. Everything is allegedly. I know that may be strange to some folks, but we just have to put it out there, okay? But thank you for coming in. And the topic of discussion will be today will be Rihanna and her, I guess, sidekick boyfriend. I have no idea because they're not married, but they don't have a baby and having one more baby on the way. Will they get married? We don't know, okay? We just don't know. You would have thought they would have did it that way but they did it the opposite way so we just gonna hold out until uh basically they tell us something or we find out that she got married okay but anyway got to get the copyrights things out we only having a conversation over here fair use for criticism comment uh some teaching some education some researching just so on the surface level but again do everything that these uh next video slides are showing you telling you to do please do that and now, let's have a conversation, okay? Let's have a conversation with the family. It's a family thing, all right? I don't do nothing without my YouTube family approving, okay? And they have approved <laughs> for us to talk about this subject right here, Miss Rihanna. Well, from what the Daily News is saying out there, uh, page six wrote it up for us, and Nikki Cox is telling us that cops showed up to Rihanna's house after a man showed up to propose. Now, I guess this man saying, well, Rocky ain't going to propose to her. Then I'm going to propose to her. So he just took, you know, everything in account. Came from, I have nowhere, I have no idea where this man came from. But he showed up to claim his wife. Or his potential wife, I should say. Anyway, cops were called, um, or were Cops were reportedly called to Rihanna's home after a man tries to sneak onto the singer's property to ask for her hand in marriage, okay? A spokesman for the Los Angeles Police Department confirmed to page 6 on Thursday that the man was arrested at her Beverly Hills address around 12.30 p.m. for trespassing. The man traveled all the way from South Carolina. Yes, okay, Lord have mercy. He in deep south going over there. North trying to hang with Rihanna and propose to her since ASAP Rocky can't seem to get the I do's out. Uh, <laughs> or will you marry me out? So he just said he'll come and claim his spot. Maybe to push Rocky, ASAP Rocky to go and do the right thing. But anyway, I don't think she was at home at the time. Uh, but going back to the article, it says the man traveled all the way from South Carolina to propose to the R&B store before his plans were squashed by her security team, uh, a detail per TMZ. Rihanna, uh, let me see, Rihanna team called the police right away, and the man who was dressed in a bright red hoodie and sweatpants was escorted out in handcuffs, Okay. However, since the untamed man did not get further than Rihanna's driveway, he was simply questioned and later released. So you mean to tell me that um, Rihanna don't live in a gated community? I mean, we could just drive through, you know, turn up on her street and pull up in her driveway? What the hell Rihanna got going on? She must not, she must miss the memo that she was a celebrity. <laughs> Ooh, honey, do right, be right, Okay. But anyway, Rihanna's home was the center of police activity on Thursday after a man showed up unannounced to propose to the sing, sing, songstress. Okay. It's unknown if Rihanna was, was at home who is pregnant with ASAP Rocky's second child. 
uh, at the time of the disturbance. Reps for Rihanna did not immediately return uh, Page Six's request for comment. This isn't the first time the singer has had to deal with unwanted visitors uh, showing up at her doorstep. Okay, again, I don't understand why Rihanna don't have herself in a gated community. But maybe she don't consider herself a star. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, but this is this is a mess that happens to pretty much anybody, but mostly celebrities. They don't got a hold to a, a stalker or fan, and they obsess with them. And they just got to look them up and show up on their doorstep. Kind of like that movie, The Bodyguard with Whitney Houston. You know, the whole comes and goes with that particular movie. And how, you know, people can get too obsessed with somebody um, they like as an entertainer. And their world becomes clouded with, you know, fec- uh, we call it fixations on them. And um, it, it ends up with a story like this or even worse off than this. So that was good. She wasn't at home. I'm, I'm guessing, because I guess if she would, they would tell us. Or TMZ would have some type of picture uh, promoting it. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, but like I said, it was unclear if the Diamond Singer was home at the time. Law enforcement officially told Page Six the man was questioned and later released. And I'm trying to figure out why was he released? He was on her property with not uh, for not being there. Like what kind of laws we they got up in California? I don't understand. I mean, no, technically, he didn't do anything, but just, you know, was in her driveway. Maybe he thought, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I just woke up from a nap, guys. I had to go to sleep when I came home from work. My arm was hurt. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, uh, I guess it's not unheard of. Uh, that people just, you know, be in the right place at the right time, moved in the right subdivision. Um, and people just do that as normal. Maybe she lived around a lot of move, other movie stars or people that are lawyers or uh, doctors or whatever. And, and it's just that neighborhood she lives in don't have one of those uh, check-in points to see if you can get in. You know what I'm saying? But that was a hot mess. That was a hot mess right there. Because I'm like, well, if he got in her driveway and he told y'all who he was and why he was there, uh, I think he should have been sent to a mental hospital for evaluation. That would have been the first thing that I would have thought of. Uh, but detain, what you call him, detaining him and finding out the true story and then letting him go. Now, what if he show up at night, same day, but he come back at night? You know, it kind of defeats the purpose because we know something is not right with that situation and that man showing up. Okay, it's called mental health. Take it very seriously, people. Okay, because it could have turned out much worse than what it, you know, did happen. Well, what actually had happened, you see, could have been worse. Man could have just said, hey, I'm going to wait on her. I'm going to break in her house. And we're going to sit down and talk about how many children we're going to have. And, um... (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make a lighthearted situation uh, seem lighthearted and not like, oh, she got there, she was there by herself, or she came home, this man was sitting in her driveway or sitting in her house. You know, it could have been turned out to be a different scenario. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I really thought bro man should have been uh, locked up, held for evaluation, and then or escorted him to the line, okay, the county line, but he goes back that way to South Carolina and not stay here in Atlanta, or not Atlanta, but Los Angeles, okay? But uh, it says, uh, going back um, to the article, it says, back in 2018, a man named Iwato Leon was arrested after he allegedly broke into the Grammy winnings, uh, Grammy's winner's Hollywood Hills home and waited there for over 12 hours. See, there we go again. How did he get over the landscape? How did he get over the gate? Uh, that's supposed to be uh, like nobody can come up to this house without access and an access code. You know, that type of thing. You know, some uh, we call it gates where they're like steel bars keeping you out, meaning the public out of her dwellings. Uh, what kind anybody can tell me what kind of house she's living in? 
Okay, because it can't be no house where there's strict uh, regulations of you being in that area, in that community, and not having some type of security. See what I'm saying? But anyway, okay, the man sat over there for 12 whole hours. I, what was Rihanna at the time? I have no idea. She probably had the comments and goings and probably uh, not even stateside. You know what I'm saying? She could have been out of the country. But the point that this man got in your home and waited for you for 12 hours, that's something serious. And I think she may have had a, uh, war not a warrant, but uh, what do you call those things where uh, it's a, you, you have become a stalker and they don't want you uh, trespass and they don't trust you? What, what do they give them? What's the name of, uh, that the, the law gives them that, you know? To get put in jail for some shit or be on the books for doing disturbing things like this. And the next time they do it, probably go get some jail time. Oh, for, but for lack of a better word or even understanding what I was trying to say at the time, maybe somebody can put it down in the comments, okay? Woo! But thankfully, uh, Rihanna was out of town at the time. And her sister eventually discovered Leon, Leon hiding out. Which is a bad thing. What was he hiding out? Was he hiding out in her house? In an empty space, uh, maybe the attic or the basement, and couldn't the assistant have gotten into a scuffle or you know that's just bad. So I'm just understanding. You know, their dwelling should be more secure than our dwellings. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like the everyday people that are working out there, we have like Fort Knox types of uh, <laughs> alarm systems and protection in our house that let us know when an intruder is near or on premises. You know what I'm saying? All oh, wrong these um, Hollywood people. I just what I'm saying. But anyway, um, Rihanna is currently pregnant with her and ASAP Rackers' second child. Okay, after the cops arrived, Leon allegedly told them he was there to have sex with the singer. Okay, now that's the one she did have the, I guess, stalking uh, restraining order or something like that. That's what I was trying to think of. Uh, I don't think it was for this particular man that traveled from South Carolina. It was the other one that got in trouble. Because um, he allegedly uh, told them he was there to have sex with the singer. He was later charged with felony counts for stalking, burglary, vandalism, and a misdemeanor count of resisting arrest. However, he ended up not serving any jail time. See, that's what I'm talking about. Why wasn't he? Why wasn't he? Let's see what the story tells us. Uh, despite pleading guilty, Leon was sentenced to five years probation and forced to enter a mental health program. The disturbing thing of 35 was also granted a criminal protection order against him. Okay, so, uh, all right, so... They saw what they should have did to this man that recently showed up in her driveway. They should have put him into mental mental health evaluation. Just to, you know, just to clear everything up, you know, make everything kosher, and make sure he gets back to the state of Cal. I mean, state of South Carolina. Okay, but they didn't do that, and that's that's kind of disturbing that they didn't do that. I'm like, uh, weren't they just privy of what they found him doing? I mean, if it was one of their family members, would they not want him arrested or sent to a mental health observation center just to see if he's clicking on all cylinders and that he knows he cannot come back ever? And I mean, ever, 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 ever? Yes, ever, ever on the property again or else he would be, you know, jailed, on, you know, with quick, fast and a hurry type of situation because it should be on the books somewhere unless they didn't put they didn't book them, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what a mis mis a miscarriage of justice, okay? But that's my other channel. Make sure y'all go up there and uh, how you call it? Subscribe, like, share my videos. If you like it over here, you'll definitely love it over there, okay? And uh, I think that's it. That's all I got for this video. I ain't got no more, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, did I tell y'all to subscribe to this channel that you're looking at? Going across your stream. Okay? Quick, fast, and hurry. I'm needing 543 more subscriptions. Meaning, y'all need to subscribe on that channel, okay? Before I can become monetized. All right? Do that for your girl. I ain't, it don't cost you no money. Just look, tap for your tap there, and you're done. But other than that, I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.